Greetings, peace, what's up? This is Queen Sarita sending you the most amazing energy from the universe. And it just came to me, this is a documenting my life journey, by the way. Another episode of documenting my life journey with Queen Sarita. And I've been sharing with you all some of the processes that I've been going through as I awaken on my path and step more into doing what it is that I enjoy and love and my life purpose, you know? It's so important to a star seed, to a sister like me, a black woman, who is also God in the flesh, that I live my truth. And even through me going back and forth between states of consciousness and remembering and deciphering these messages, I've come to the realization today that Something is really trying to get my attention, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, and I know it's me trying to get my own attention to wake the F up. So I wrote myself some notes, which is something that I find really helps me. But it's not something that helps me to actually, uh, what's the word, keep it as a routine every time so much as it's something to make me take action in the moment. Sticky notes, like when you see a sticky note, that means this is very important. You know, you took a little piece of paper that you had to go find, dig out your purse, whatever, and you wrote something on this bright note. Use them to your advantage. If you don't have sticky notes, you don't have to. I've had times when I couldn't afford sticky notes back in the day or at some point, and you can tear off a piece of paper, you can use a paper bag, you can write it somewhere for yourself, on a piece of cardboard, whatever, all right? But one of the notes that I put in front of me on a sticky note that I'm being told to tell you all today, is this is a multi-dimensional transformative message. Actually, I'm gonna put this on the blog today. Even though the date of the other Documenting My Life Journeys, they, need to be added to the blog as well. There have been so many now. I'm probably up to at least 30 to 40 of these at least by now and on the way to 50 documenting my life journeys. You know, waking up, remembering who I am, kind of working in public. That's what I'm doing now. And my person has a certain configuration in my chart which says I am somebody who likes to be completely behind the scenes. Yo, that shit is real. But I'm going to, and I am, reprogramming my mindset against my astrology chart, Western or sidereal, because if I'm a divine being and I'm God and God is real, then I have a way to change whatever configuration that I've given my person. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever I've given my vehicle. So yeah, I, I have these conflicting states of consciousness. There's one side that's saying you must go out for God. You must shine for God. I have no problem with ever doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's when I'm stepping into my essential nature, channeling my higher self. I feel like it's so easy to do that once we get rid of the subconscious programming patterns and all of this stuff, which is not us. And then we're free to watch stuff, to enjoy various things that we know we've included in our reality, knowingly and intentionally and deliberately but until we have the mindset to be able to do that we gotta tread lightly y'all and we've got to quarantine ourselves and there's several of our brothers and sisters who truly we all need some sort of healing y'all but yo people if you're around anybody they're doing things to get your attention if you are supposed to be waking up now if you are supposed to be taking action on something to jump start you and move you to the next level then there's things happening right now and some stuff that you're like, what the f is this? Like, really? And <laughs> you laugh or you're crying or you go back and forth between those states. You feel like somebody's playing a game on you or something. Whether it be at home, job, you know, on the way to work, whatever. There is something happening that is quickening us to wake the F up whoever you are, whatever your color is, whatever you're calling yourself. If you're feeling that, then you'll know because it's coming for you. You're coming for you. 
if you researched <laughs> into waking up and spiritually realizing who you are, don't you know that is a door you can't close again? Now, some people will try to, but you will terrorize yourself <laughs> with all of the different messages of remembering until those messages become, you know, um, morsels of nourishment. Until you're able to appreciate that, it's going to feel like you're being tortured. I've had clients come to me many times that were dealing with a lot of things that they felt like they were being haunted. You ask the question of who you are. The universe is going to show you because it's you and it's not going to stop because you are the creator of your own experience. So as you focus, you create whatever it is. And I sound like I got it all figured out. <laughs> But until the subconscious programming is removed and rebooted and done, and yo, it's still there. It's still that programming from zero through one. Zero through seven, sorry. <laughs> zero through seven. That programming we received then, that is still on us, y'all, until we put in something else now there's certain times you can reprogram the subconscious and I did subscribe to uh, several teachers that discuss this stuff and you know scientists biologists and you know um, different people and the people who say they've reprogrammed themselves in various ways there's many ways to do these things when they start to do this work I have been noticing that these people, they just go for it. They're not sitting back looking at what Tom, Dick, Harry, Sue, and Shane are looking at and talking about, and Tony and Tom. Yo, they're going for theirs. You know, maybe there's a small stage where you, oh, well, you're not ready, but. When you inquire at this level right here and you're going to go into, you know, I've talked about reprogramming and recalibration many times for the star seed. This is for all of us. And right now I'm telling my person what I'm going to do. I'm making me some specific tools that to go with what I've already been doing. I've been doing tapping, I've been doing clapping, I do Paeta, but there's certain things that I do to make myself either snap out of it in a, a so-called adverse pattern if I want and um, I'm getting better at it so there's more things that I want and desire in my life and um, I want to expand even more and I want to be able to tell you all that no matter where you are in your journey, it may seem hopeless and helpless and people are doing all kinds of stuff. I know the shadow realm. I know how it goes. And the shadow stuff is nothing but that zero through seven years old programming that people got from their parents and loved ones or people, whoever they were around, whatever they were around. Woo, y'all. Have you seen a lot of the things that people have been around? And you have a lot of people that grew up with babies making babies. They had no idea. And we're not going to blame anybody for not putting together the right program or telling us all of this stuff. I'm not going to use this for that. Because if we're truly who we are, it doesn't matter what the hell's going on. We're always, always going to rejoice in winning. But we have to know who we are, though. And we've got to utilize the tools for us to be able to do our work, okay? So beyond that, I want you to do one thing, okay? There's one thing I really want you to do. I want you to get a hold of a, like a key, a picture of a actual key. And for Naturally High Life, I find that this is one of the most perfect things that reminds me that I have the key in my hand to shift my life no matter what is going on. 
No matter when I remember, I know that key represents something huge. And if you have a key, then you are, you're, you're some, you know, people that have keys, key holders, they're considered somebody important, okay? So I want you to, whatever it takes, snap out of it and give yourself the key. <laughs> because God is in you, it's something that cannot change. And we have the ability to change our life. For some of you, this key I'm talking about, it could be a mailbox key, it could be a key to a door, it could be um, whatever kind of key, but for some of us, you can just get an onk. An onk will serve as your key. So a onk or a key. You know, for my, um, for me, you know, I've, I've always resonated with Kemet being the book of my ancestors. But honestly, we are, we are all. We are everything and everything is us. And of course, my key is um, actually hiding right now. So I'm thinking right now of actually where it is. I may have hung it on a journal or something like that. But yeah, get a key. Use that to represent your your desire to wake up, your desire to reprogram yourself, your intention. It's a sign that you have chosen. <laughs> you know, you've made a choice to awaken yourself. And that, if you ever feel like you aren't doing enough, that alone, you are really changing this world because you are choosing to become something that's helping versus something that's wrecking things. So do you want to be a, you know, you want to be a destroyer or a creator? You're always creating, but create what you want. You know, that's the best thing. Create what you want. Pull in what you want. And um, I think there was, that was basically everything that I wanted to say, I think. Leon, that I'm about to really dive in with two feet. I usually, you know, you get real excited about something and then you forget about it. I've actually placed several notes around my art area. I'm about to make or finish this piece of art. And this person that's on the piece of art is going to be um, a very interesting color. But it has a lot to do with what needs to happen in order for us to remember who we are and step into our purpose. Because what happens is a lot of people are having to do things they don't want to do. You have to go to work for the whole day and then some. You don't make enough or you're scraping by and you know, and then all of the ne so-called negative stuff around, like who has time for that? Girl, nobody, okay? So I want you, if it's a brother, then hey, <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. I want you to get that key and I want you to use it to remember who you are. Put it on a necklace, carry it with you. You know, whatever you gotta do, but it takes little things like that. We talked about the record keeper before and um, but I'm going to go ahead and upload this now. I'll upload some other audios later. But I know this is very important for you all to get. Because if you don't remind yourself, who, who else is going to be doing it? Well, there's a lot of multidimensional beings who know who, it, who they are now. You can go and listen to people. But make sure you do the work. There's so many positive messages. But if we don't actually do the work, we don't see the results really. You can't just, you know, stand around and, and hope. I mean, I feel like something will rub off on you, <laughs> depending on what you're being influenced by. But why not go a step further? You know, what's the next thing? What's the next thing for you? How can you get better? Well, reprogramming is going to be number one for me. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And I've got some 
I got some really amazing meditations coming for y'all. And the reason why they're going to be amazing is because the very first one that I'm doing, well, more, I'm doing more, but I'm doing it for myself. And from there, I'm going to craft these new ones. So I'll talk to y'all later. Spirit is definitely guiding and leading. And it's amazing. It's like we just straight projected ourselves here and um, we're operating. <laughs> it's amazing. So get yourself your scripting manifesting I call it a manifesting journal dark manifesting journal dark moon manifesting journal whatever you want to call it and um use it and remind yourself by just writing how you want your life to be now how you're living it how you're enjoying it really get into it and spirit says to shine bright like a diamond that's what message came through today and the title of this really is you don't have the luxury of forgetting anymore now is the time i wrote on my paper fucking wake up that's what they told me right reprogram your subconscious okay it's no time to wait anymore i was gonna drag out this stuff and say oh we'll talk about it in a few months after we get through the inner child and the other let me tell y'all something Okay, it's all one thing. <laughs> you work on the subconscious, you are working on the inner child. You are working on the shadow. You will change every freaking thing that's not working. A lot of us have done magic, certain things we've done, blah, blah, blah. Things are still stagnant. You're like, what the heck is going on? I have been working this thing. Some of y'all, um, or I bought something in the past. And you, you didn't get the results exactly because you didn't believe you were ready for it. You didn't feel deserving. You got to go back and reprogram. So I'm coming with those meditations. My goal is to do um, a certain number of them and I will have those available to you. But I got to get on the music. So I've got my instruments actually out. I've got three little instruments and um, I'm going to be playing those for you all. And... Oh, there go my maracas. Okay. <sighs> I'll talk to you later. This is an amazing day. Take action. Peace. God is real. That's the other message I have here. Look at you with a smiley face on the top, one a sticky note, and a little mirror under the bottom. Okay, facing me while I'm doing my artwork. Like, wake up, sister. Wake up. Create your reality just like you want it. Don't hesitate. Peace. I love y'all.